Hi everybody, this is Bob with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a crash and then reversing it for effect. Now, how I'm using that is to build excitement and also to transition to different sections of the song. Now, I have a little snippet here of the project that I'm working on in Pro Tools. So I brought it over here to Logic just to, um, to kind of sample some crash sound so it's fitting for the song. So what I chose was the ESX24 sampler. So this is my software instrument track and I picked the stereo drum kit. Now the reason I like the ESX24 sampler, um, one it's a sa it's sampler bass so these are more organic sounds than electronic sounds. And if you go into the kit, you can see um, there's lots of acoustic drum kits here. So I chose the stereo drum kit because the crash is more fitting for the song that I'm producing. So that's what I have there. So now I'm just going to create with my pencil tool a uh, region here that extends out about two bars. And then I'm going to double click in here and go down and there's the crash I want to use. So I'm going to pull the pencil tool up here and just create the note. Put it on the correct spot. There it is. And let's, uh, let's play that. So you can see it sustains and goes out a couple of bars and that's perfect. So I'm done with that. So now I'm going to take this this MIDI track here and I'm going to bounce it in place. So what this is going to do is bounce down this MIDI track to one audio track now. So let's take a listen. Okay, it sounds just like my MIDI track I created. Now what I want to do is I want to bounce this in place again because I want to create another audio file or a separate audio file. So now I have a duplicate. Let's listen to that. Exactly the same. Okay, so I'm going to go back up to the original and I'm going to double click on it for you Logic users and you'll see I've opened up the file editor. Make sure you're not in track. You want file, functions, reverse. This is going to reverse the audio. Let's take a listen. So now I'm going to take the original track that we bounced and just tag it on the end of this one. And here's what we have. That's perfect. Zoom in a little bit here and see what trimming up we need to do here. So we can pull a little bit of this out. And then we'll take this and just merge them together there. And let's take a listen. Now I can take these two regions and bounce in place. Now we have right below that another audio file that combines those two. Let's take a listen. Now I'm going to take this and export this audio, put it over in Pro Tools, and we'll see how it sounds in the mix. So here I am over in Pro Tools, and here's the reverse crash that we created in Logic. Now we'll play that along with the drum kit. So what this is going to do is provide some excitement and a nice transition to get us from the verse that we're in over into this A section of this song. So let's play it in the track now. So 
So there you go, a great way to transition from one section of your song to another when you're applying a crash anyway, and a great way to build excitement going into another part of your song. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.